hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Tara if you are new to my channel welcome I create content on education lifestyle as well as careers my nine to five I work in clinical research managing different clinical sites making sure that they are following all FDA regulations to make sure if study patients stay safe so today I want to take y'all with me as I prep for my upcoming travel. So with my particular role, I have to travel to different, like I said, doctor's office, universities, wherever there are human clinical research trials, that's where I go. So for my first trip, I take my first trip December the 14th and today is December the 2nd. So on today's list, I'm going to go by the TSA pre-check location so that way I can finalize my application and get my, um, what is it called, KTN number, my known travel traveler's number. So I have to finalize the application for that and I'll be done with that aspect so that way when I am flying, I don't have to worry about standing on lines. You know, there's certain things that you don't have to do, like I don't have to take off my belt, I don't have to worry about taking my computer or my portable monitor out of my bag and I also don't have to take off my, um, like a light jacket. So that's why I wanna go ahead and do that because honestly, before when I traveled, I didn't even have that. So I feel like this is going to be great, especially when you're traveling business-wise because you don't want to be standing long lines and accidentally could almost, you know, miss your flight or anything. So I'm going to do that today. <laughs> I just made it to the place which I think this is it but I'm not for sure because I've never been at this particular location before oh, yeah I see it right here I see it on the door never mind so yeah I did make it to the place so the only thing I have to do is take my driver's license and my birth certificate in and that way I'll be able to process the application on their website it did state I think it was like three to six days before you get your KTN number but um, one of my colleagues stated that he got his today so I'm about to go in because I like to be early because maybe they can go ahead and take me I'm gonna go ahead and go in and I'll um, get the process done and then when I come back out and I get home I'll let you all know how everything Thing went. All right, y'all, so I'm back, but it may be a little dark because of the lighting in here, but anyways, so it was super quick. The only thing you need to bring with you is a form of payment. In South Carolina here, the only thing I had to pay was $85 because that was my first time um, doing TSA pre-check and you renew it every five years. They ask you the basic questions um, like insanity, um, any conviction within the last couple of years, and all of those information is things that you're going to fill out on the application before you schedule the actual appointment. So um, once you go in, you'll take your fingerprints and then you'll just take a picture, not smiling, and that is it. And you should get your KTN number, I think she said within the next five to seven business days, but she's noticed a lot of people having pretty decent turnarounds to the point that they got their KTN number the next day. So she just told me to watch out for the email as well as um, periodically check back into check back the website to see if the actual KTN number um, is already on the website. So what I'm doing now, since I'm done with that, I'm kind of switching gears and reviewing my clinical monitoring plan. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just looking over everything just to make sure that I am ready, that I am ready for my first travel assignment. <music>
<laughs> forgive how I look, but right now I am practicing for my observation remote site qualification visit for tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Today is December the 6th, and tomorrow is going to be December the 17th. So I have a visit that the office is in... Um, where is that office? I think the office is in Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. But I am going to be doing a remote observation visit with a senior CRA. So how I get ready for that, um, the senior CRA, they send me all the information, like the clinical monitoring plan, the protocol, um, the site qualification visit slots. So what I'm doing is just going over everything and any word that I don't know, I am going to Google it on my phone and have the word and have Google pronounce the word for me. So for example, um, for this particular study, one word, the word is primary sclerosing cholangitis. So for that word, what I did was primary sclerosing cholangitis. Okay, so as you heard, Google just stated it's primary sclerosing cholangitis. So now I knew primary and I knew sclerosing, but I'm like, hmm, this cholangitis, let me just make sure I'm pronouncing it correct because although I am observing tomorrow, I want to make sure I get in the habit of knowing how to pronounce my words. So when I'm speaking with the doctors and the sites, I am knowledgeable. How can I tell you how to effectively run the site per the protocol when I don't even know how to pronounce what we are, what we're investigating. You know, I don't even know anything about this particular disease. So what I'm doing is just going back and forth, listening to the word, having the word, you know, ingrained into my head. And so that way, even though I'm not speaking tomorrow, I still know that's something that I know for the future. So primary sclerosing cholangitis, primary sclerosing cholangitis. So I'm just going back and forth, listening to it on my phone, as well as reading over my site qualification um, PowerPoint and just hearing it. Hey y'all, good morning. So it is Tuesday. Today is my first remote um, site qualification visit with a senior CRA. So what I'm doing right now is just getting my clothes out, about to um, do my makeup just in case I need to turn my camera on because if you ever work from home but you have certain jobs that you may have to be on camera, even if they say, hey, no camera is needed, make sure that you are always camera ready just in case for any reason the sponsor may jump onto the call and they say, hey, you know what, y'all, let's turn on the cameras so that way you're not professional job ready whenever you need to turn your camera on so what I'm about to do is make like a little reel for my TikTok so that way it's like a get ready with me first day on the job kind of thing so I'm just going to let the camera roll and take you guys with me as much as I can so once again a remote site qualification visit for those of you who are not aware I'm in clinical research so what I'm doing now is I am so what I'm doing today, I'll be on the camera and we'll be looking at the potential site that we want to partake in the clinical research study. If they check off all of the qualifications, then they can possibly be in the study once the sponsor looks over everything. So we have to look at the examination rooms, you have to look at the paperwork, but you're doing all of this from home because of course, once again, like I stated, it's a remote visit today. So yes. So let's do it. Okay. Let's go video. Alright. Have you ever been in love? I don't think so. Do you want me to describe it to you? Working on a weekend like usual. Alright y'all, so it is 1019 now, so I'm actually working from um, my living room area. I'm about to place my son's lunch into the oven so that way when it goes off he has lunch because the meeting is from 1030 to 12 and his lunch is at 12, so I don't want to be rushing. But right now I have my setup. I have, um, let me close this down so that way you don't see anything. tell you now forgive the background okay but let me show you 
so I just have like a notebook here I have my computer here so that way I can be on the meeting and I also have a documentation that's um, closed right now so I can check off everything that we went over in the meeting so that way it's kind of like a sign off for me that I saw the senior CRA review those tasks at hand so I'm just going to place that back up so it's 10 20 now so let me go ahead and do this okay hold on I'm about to okay. it's so crazy how you know when you work from home it's like you're professional from top to ankle and literally it's like slides okay. I don't know why I'm working right here because it's like come on Tari you don't even have that much room I need a pen So I just joined the meeting right now. I'm just waiting for the host to arrive. And then once the host arrives, because I'm going through WebEx, mm -hmm. I'll be able to get in. <sighs> so, of course, every job is going to be different. Every company is going to be different. But this is the setup for my particular company. So anytime we have a remote visit, of course, remote means you're doing it from home. The office, I think, is in Cincinnati, if I'm not mistaken. So, once again, what we're doing now is we're going to look over all the documentation that's needed for them to qualify to be in the study. So, if they need to have a certain amount of exam rooms, if they need to have, um, like, emergency equipment available, staffing available, all of that, that's what the senior CRA is going to be looking at. Now, I'm not too much educated in regards to this aspect because once again, this is my first remote site qualification visit and that's why a senior CRA is with me so that way I can make sure I see exactly what she does to ensure when it becomes my time to do it, I'm able to do it effectively. Good, I'm actually, um, I'm working in Remark on, on some monitoring letters Okay. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing right now. Nice. Were both of y'all uh, coordinators before this? I was, yes. All right, y'all. So right now I'm just going over my expense report, making sure I know how to bill everything since I'm still in the actual academy, my learning phase for my job. But my visit for next week that I was prepping for got canceled because the site has on um, the site they don't have irb approval yet so before we um go there for the actual site initiation visit we have to have irb approval and then i had another opportunity to go somewhere in philadelphia but unfortunately they don't allow observers to come to that particular visit because the actual sponsors the client will be there so can't go to that one so it's okay it's a learning experience and also it allowed me to have more time to practice different um practice within the training mod to make sure once i'm out on my own i know how to use pr proper wordage and i know how to navigate um within the system but today is tuesday and yeah that's about it um my monitor came yesterday did, did it come yesterday yeah monday my monitor came on yesterday so you guys can see that there so i just need to um i'll set that up sometime today but yeah that's about it so i will talk to y'all shortly <laughs> 